हेलो बच्चों आई होप यूर डूइंग वेल सो द क्वेश्चन विच वी आर बी डूइंग टूडे इज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इन्वॉल्व रोलिंग अ पेयर ऑफ डाइस एंड रिकॉर्डिंग द नंबर दैट कम्स अप ओके डिस्क्राइब द फॉलोइंग इवेंट्स ओके इवेंट ए इज द सम इज ग्रेटर देन एट इवेंट बी इज टू अकर ऑन ईदर डाय इवेंट सी इज द सम इज एटलीस्ट सेवन एंड अ मल्टीपल ऑफ सेवन मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री Which pair of these events are mutually exclusive? Okay, so let's look at our experiment. Our experiment is rolling a pair of dice. So, my sample space is equal to one comma one, one comma two, one comma three, one comma four, one comma five, one comma six. Now I fixed one in the first die here. I can fix two, so I'll get two comma one, two comma two, two comma three, two comma four, two comma five, and two comma six. Same thing I can do for three, four, five, and so on. And finally, I'll do it one last time for six. So I'll get six comma one, six comma two, six comma three, six comma four, six comma five, and finally six comma six. Okay. And what is my event A? My event A is sum is greater than eight. So that means sum can be nine, ten, eleven, and so on. Okay. So let's start with nine. When is my sum gonna be nine? Let's say my first die shows one, so the second die has to show eight to have the sum nine, which is not possible. What if my first die showed two? Then the second die has to show seven to have nine, which is not possible. So I'll start with three. So three six gives me the sum as nine. Next, what I'll write? Next, I'll write four. For four, I can get five, and the sum would be nine. Next, for five, I'll get four. The sum should be nine. For six, what will I get? I'll get three. The sum would be nine. And those are the only possibilities that the sum would be nine. Now, what about ten? The sum has to be ten. So, can I start from one? No, because then I'll have to have the second die has nine, which is not possible. So where will I start from? I'll start from four. And second die I'll get six. So four plus six is ten. So what about five? If I got five, then the second die will also show five, and I'll get the sum as ten. What about six? Six के साथ four मुझे sum देगा ten. Next, ten हो गया. अब eleven. Is it possible to get eleven? Yes. If I got five in my first die, then I'll have to get six in my second die for the sum to be eleven. And if I got six, then I'll have to get five for the sum to be eleven. Now these are the only two possibilities for the sum to be eleven. What about twelve? For twelve, I only have six comma six. उसके अलावा कोई भी एडिशन मुझे ट्वेल्व नहीं देगा राइट वट अबाउट थर्टीन क्या मुझे कभी भी थर्टीन मिल सकता है नहीं क्योंकि सबसे बड़ा तो सिक्स कॉमा सिक्स है और उसका सम ट्वेल्व है तो मुझे थर्टीन कभी भी नहीं मिलेगा सो ग्रेटर देन एट मतलब क्या नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व सो द सम मैग्जिम कैन बी ट्वेल्व वट अबाउट मिनिमम मिनिमम इट कैन बी वन कॉमा वन विच इज टू So the sum minimum can be two and maximum can be twelve. Okay, moving on. What do we have? Event B is event B is two occurs on either die. So या तो पहले die में two आ गया या तो second die में two आ गया. Okay. So अगर मुझे पहले die में two आ गया, so what will I get? I got the first die as two. So I got two comma one. First die is two. I got two comma two, I got two comma three, two comma four, 
2 comma 5 and 2 comma 6. Now what about second die? Second die can be 2. So uske liye I can get 1 comma 2. Can I get 2 comma 2? No, I will not write it again because I have written 2 comma 2 once before. So next kya likhungi mein? 3 comma 2. Okay. And I have 4 comma 2. 5 comma 2. Sorry. 5 comma 2. 6 comma 2. That's it. Those are the only possibilities I have so that either the first one is 2 or the second one is 2. Okay. Next what do I have as event C. Event C is the sum is at least 7. At least 7 matlab more. It should be 7 or more than 7. Okay. And, and a multiple of 3. So what are multiples of 3? So it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. Okay, so let's do a little rough work here. Okay, what do I want? First, I want the sum to be at least 7. So the sum can be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 or 12. Can it be 13? No, because the sum maximum is 12. Now I also want and matlab dono saath mein hona chahiye. Or matlab dono mein se ek hona chahiye. So I have and here. And matlab dono saath mein hona chahiye. So it should also be a multiple of 3. So what are the multiple of 3 I got here? I got 9 and I got 12. These are the only multiple of 3. Okay. So now I want the sum to be 7. I want the sum to be 9 or 12. So for 9, let's write what we got. So for 9, I got, can I start to with 1? No. 2? No. 3? No. I have to start from, I have to start from 3. Right? So 3 plus 6 would give me 9. Yeah. So I'll start from 3. So I got 3 and 6. After that, I got 4 and 5. After that, I got 5. And I got 5 and 4. And after that I got 6 and 3. Those are the sum. So that the sum is 9. Now, uske baad hume chahiye sum to be 12. So 12 ke liye I know that 6, 6 is the only option. So I'll write 6, 6 here. And that is my event C. Now, what do I have to find? I have to find what are the mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive. So let's look at first look at A and B. Are they mutually exclusive? B kya kehta hai? That 2 occurs in either die. So yaan to pehle mein 2 hai, yaan to dousre mein 2 hai. A mein koi bhi aisa element hai kya? Ki jahaan pe 2 aa jai? No. So A and B do not intersect. So that means A and B are mutually exclusive events. Now what about A and C? Are they mutually exclusive? No. Why? Yahan pe itte sare common hai. 3, 6 common hai. 4, 5 dono mein hai. 5, 4. 6, 6 dono mein hai. Itte sare dono mein hai. So A and C are not mutually exclusive since they do intersect. Now what about B and C? What did B say? B says that 2 occurs on either die. So, C mein aisa koi hai kya ki jiske paas 2 ho? Nay. So, that means B and C are mutually exclusive. So, what did I get? A and B are mutually exclusive and B and C are mutually exclusive. So, my final answer is A and B as well as B and C are mutually exclusive. pairs okay so i that concludes our question so i hope you understood